Good morning, boys and girls. I'm so glad to be here with you for another wonderful story. Okay, so settle in. Today, we're gonna to learn about St. John the Short. And you're gonna say, well, I don't really know him. Um, he's not that popular, not like, you know, St. Damiana and St. George. Well, he may not be that much known, but he is a wonderful, wonderful person. He's a saint, and we can benefit from knowing about his life. So I'll tell you, when he was just a little boy, he was only eight years old, he wanted to live like a monk in the desert. And you're going to say, what? He was eight years old. Didn't he want to go and play with his friends and um, do fun stuff? instead of living as a monk in the desert? Well, no, he wanted to be like a monk in the desert. So he was a very wonderful spiritual kid at the age of eight. And so he went to this place in Sketis. I think that's probably how you say it. And he saw Abba Pemwa. And he talked to him and told him how he wanted to live like a monk in the desert. And um, Abba Pema really liked him. And so he got enough courage to ask Abba Pema, well, can I stay with you? And Abba Pema, what do you think he said? He said, well, because now thinking he's only eight years old. And he said, well, it's good to be, to be holy and doing all the good things, being a good Christian. But you know what, John, life really is not that easy um, uh, for anyone, especially an eight-year-old, to live in the desert. And John was sit looking at him like, I don't understand. And so um, Abba Pen was said, you know, you don't get to sleep in a really fluffy, comfy bed. You don't get to eat whatever you like anytime you like. You don't be able to play with any of the other kids your own age. And you know what? We got tons of prayers we do every day for hours. And so he said, why don't you just go on home? Keep being wonderful and doing all the right things, but just live in the world. And so St. John the Short was really sad. And he said, please, can't you just give me a chance? So, okay, so Abba Penwa felt bad. So he said, okay, but I'm not gonna, he didn't make it easy for him. He always tested him to see his heart. So one day, Abba Penwa said, here's a stick go and plant it and water it twice a day every day and so okay that's exactly what it, uh, john did he he took that stick and he planted it and he had to water it twice a day every day but guess what the water you know they didn't have faucets just like we do now the water they had to get in it from a well and the well was 12 miles away from where they lived in the monastery. So what do you think? Did John say, I, I have to walk 12 miles one way to get water and go to the plant and water it and then go back home. And then another time I gotta water it because I have to do this twice a day. So he said, wow. I he said, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it because I trust and I obey. And you know what? He did that for how long do you think? Um, three years, three whole years. Can you imagine that? So he did that three whole years. And what do you think ever happened to that stick that he planted? Well, it flourished and it, it grew and it had fruit. So you're gonna say, wow, that is an awesome miracle. Yes, it is a miracle. And so that just shows us 
how faith and love can grow into the most beautiful thing. So you're going to say, well, can I take a look at what uh, St. John the Short looks like? I said, of course, you absolutely can. And here is what he looks like. There is John the Short, St. John the Short. Look, he, he lived in the monastery till he was an old man. There's the tree that sprung out from the stick that he watered in the desert. So you know the desert, nothing really much grows in the desert. So for this stick to grow and to flower and bloom and to have fruit, it had to have a lot of faith and God's blessing on it. So you're going to say, well, he doesn't look like an eight-year-old. No, this is not when he was eight years old. He's an old man here now. And you know what? He went back to heaven when he was kneeling and praying to God. And the angels took his wonderful pure soul up to heaven. And that's what happened to him. So I want you to always remember the life of this wonderful saint. And what do we learn from it? We learn obedience and faith and love. So when your mommy tells you to do something and you kind of don't understand the reasons behind it, just have faith and trust and love that your mommy knows what she's doing. Okay? Don't argue and just follow her. Okay? So I'm so glad that we talked about St. John the Short. And let's keep him in our minds all the time when we're supposed to do things that we don't always agree with or we're not always happy with. Okay? So in the Bible, there is a verse that has to do with St. John the Short story. And it's about being humble. It says from the book of James, chapter 4, verse 10, Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. So you're going to say, well, what does humble mean? Well, humble is a wonderful virtue. Being humble means that you don't think you're better than someone else. You don't think you're better than anybody else, which is a wonderful, wonderful virtue that God wants us to have. Okay, so we pray for that virtue. We pray to God to give us being humble in our hearts. Okay, and so I'm so glad we had this time together. And I hope to see you next week for another lesson, God willing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. See you next week, God willing.